morning folks, it's slow mo and uh, we're going to do a pack dump today. To start off with, let me explain a couple of things for you. Um, I'm using a new system that I, I believe works really well. Uh, my bow, um, my everything, everything that I take hunting goes inside one of these bags inside my truck prior to the hunt. Um, as I open this up, you're going to find that I have everything for my hunt in here. First things I'm going to need is my saddle. And a lot of people haven't thought about how they're going to clean them. Uh, they get pretty stinky, especially up here in the summertime. Um, you got to find a way to clean them. Some guys are having good success washing them. I just ozone mine, and there's no odor. There's literally no odor. Same thing with my uh, with my sticks. The sticks are hanging right in front of a deer's nose. I mean the first two sticks. So I don't use an aider on the bottom stick. I use it on the three in the middle. And Here's my sticks. I always own my sticks. There is no scent. Um, it works well. I have deer walk right up to them. They don't even know they're there. Don't even give them a second look. Here's uh, my pack. My pack's been in here, like I said before. It's been ozone very nicely. Before I take out the pack, I'm going to take out my other two sticks. I run two sticks on the back of my pack, and I carry three in. I found that's a whole lot easier and trying to carry five sticks on my back. I also carry some aiders, which I do myself. It's just a piece of zip tie that's stuffed inside the aider. I wiggle my way in for the tubing, and this is what I get. I do them fresh every year. They're nice. They hold their, their, uh, their shape for the whole season very nicely. I found that they're a little difficult to, to put another piece of plastic in at the end of the year, so I just redo them. So there we go. There's my aiders. Those went inside there. My platform. This is one I made myself. Uh, it's a, uh, let me see, this is a low wolf. It's a low wolf with a one and a quarter inch post. Um, I got the standoffs and the Versa button from Dano, uh, Northeastern Outdoors, I believe it is. But um, love my stand, love my platform, it works great. Now, without any further ado, this is the end. But just so, just so you know, there's a, a machine inside here, an Ozonics machine, that runs on AC and DC current. I run it in my truck on the way to the hunt. Here's my pack. I use a Scentlock pack. No, I don't work for Scentlock. I just believe in their products. Spare tether. This has also been ozone. I use one of these. If you don't, you don't know what it is, I'm not going to tell you. Not in this episode anyway. I have a ratchet strap. That's for my platform. I have my rope, my ropeman, my carabiner. This is all for my linesman belt. It's my original tether. If you notice on my tether, I took one of the other guys' advice and left my cussock on there. And I actually hang my pack from that now. It works out quite nicely. And my black back strap. I don't use that often, but I take it with me anyway. My call, my work call, my bones. Gotta have, gotta have a thermoset. I'm telling you. Especially up, up here with the mosquitoes. So all my scents and stuff. Uh, I keep it in a plastic bag and separate inside of that. I don't use scents as much as I probably should, but that being said, I have them anyway. I push no range finder. I love this range finder. It's small. It's accurate. It, it, it's, it's really quick in acquiring a target. And uh, the numbers come out actually in red. So it really looks sharp against the dark green. So there that is, and I have it tethered, because when you open your pack up, this is probably the only thing that won't sustain a fall other than this. So I tether it inside my pack. This is kind of like my kill kit go-to stuff. Uh, this is probably the heaviest thing in my pack, believe it or not. I have my, my ID card. I hunt uh, some, some conservation land, and you have to have a special permit for that. I have some Scentlock wipes in here. I have trees, trimming down, black gloves for part of my kill kit. Um, this is a 
cheapo knife that does a nice job. It's really sharp. Job done. I've used this uh, many times, or several times, and it works out pretty good. Okay, and I always bring this just in case if something loosens up on me. Uh, at least I can fix it in the field. I don't want to lose a whole hunt day. That doesn't work out. All these products fit nicely inside here. I have my licenses with my tags in here. Like I said, I can hang that, but I usually leave it right in the back. We'll need to take it out. I use the Ozonics, um, and they come with these little things very much like the milkweed. And it's, it's great to have. So I use milkweed also, but in case I forget it, I have one of these attached to my pack and it really works pretty well. Just sit there and peel them off and find out where you win. So I have my trusty headlamp and get to the bottom here. This is my tether. I use a loop tether. Um, this is actually rated for 23 kilonewtons. I use the carabiner that came with my Kestrel. I changed those up, but I like these. Um, it actually, they do a loop on one side and attach with the carabiner on the other side. I can carry it in in my pocket. I can actually even use it as a safety device if I need to. So that's all that, all of that. I change that every year, not the carabiner, just, just the uh, thing in this. Relatively inexpensive. I think you're talking 12 bucks for that, my GM climbing stuff. Um, in addition to all that stuff, last but not least, the front pocket where I can get it when I get up in the tree right away is my loop. Goes around the tree, S beaner, hang my, my bow hook from. Uh, works out very well. I don't like the strap thing, so I use a, just a, another piece of paracord that I tie off and it works really well. It's a little bit lighter. I don't like all that stuff bouncing around. Uh, it makes noise. It does make noise in the morning. So that's it. That's everything I have. That's everything I would take in a I'm sorry. One more thing. I always bring one of these in case I can't get a good purchase for my belt. I, I haven't had to use this since I started doing this. So I'll probably take that out of my pack and not I'll bring it with me next time. Um, and the last item I have in my pack, some of you know, some of you don't. Some of you know it more as a gear, as a uh, gear hoist from Doyle's. Um, actually, it's not a gear hoist from Doyle's. It's a Summit gear hoist. And I have it tethered in here so I don't lose it on the way in. I have a little pocket on the side of my my pack, and that pocket lives my Summit bow tracer. Pulls my bow up afterwards for me. I don't have to do anything. Just attach it before you get up in the tree, and that's it. So, here's my pack. Everything I need in here to go hunting. It's all been ozoned. I'm going to have to ozone everything again, but it's really not that difficult. Now, just to give you some idea, I'm going to repack my pack. I'm going to put everything back in exactly the same place in it, and when I pack my pack, I pack it in the reverse of what I'm going to be using. So, one of the first things that I'm going to be using when I get to the tree is my sticks. So the sticks come off first. The platform comes off and I place that on the ground. Usually hook it on my Kestrel. Um, my Kestrel has three molly loops on it um, with, with some paracord, which works out nicely. It has three different lengths. So I carry a stick on this hip, a stick on this hip, and my platform in the middle. If I need another stick, I'll carry it on my right hip. When I take the sticks off, my belt. I'm taking off the one in between the two, so I don't have anything left that can dangle and clank. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I usually pack, like I said, everything in reverse. I start up my tree. I do my do my thing. I hang my. I'm going to do a whole another video on that part of it, so I'm just not going to get into that. But what I did want to show you was what I actually bring in a hunt. Now the only thing I don't have here that I do bring on occasion is a bow sling. I use the uh, Primos bow sling. I love it. I use it a lot. If I'm carrying sticks, I want to carry a bow sling too. I, I usually do it. 
what I've just what I found is my pack with five sticks on it is 28 pounds, 28.8 pounds. I felt like that was just a little too heavy for me to trace into some of the spots I get into. So um, I lightened it up a little bit. I've been trying, I've been out in the woods walking with it, and I found that it's really easy to walk with three sticks in my hand or to throw a sling over my shoulder with them, and the same thing with my boat. I can attach my boat to my pack or those three sticks. I prefer to carry them in my hand. Uh, it drops the pack down to about 18 pounds, which is really manageable. Um, I don't have any, any issues with carrying it around. It goes up the tree at me just fine. Um, it fits good, it's comfortable, and it keeps my stuff scent free once I get it out of the bag. So, everything goes back in the bag. That's all there is to it, guys. That's it. That's everything. That's all I'm going to take. And uh, hopefully this helps you with some of the equipment you're going to need. Now, you don't have to have this. You don't have to have a scent lock bag. You don't have to have the rope room. Uh, um, carabiners, uh, manual prussics, but all this stuff is pretty much stuff I found that I need and I use all the time. I don't have any extras here, except for one, I have, um, I bring my t a tether, an extra tether with me when I go up. And I do that only because I may need another line belt. Uh, something could happen, I could nick it. I I I'm really safety conscious, I'm an older guy, if I fall down, I'm probably not going to survive, so when I go up the tree, I think about that. I think about what happens if I fall. I make sure all my connections are good. I make sure the positive connections. I make sure I practice. I hope I'm not jinxing myself, but I really work hard at trying to get this all done correctly and safely. So, my packed up. You want to be a saddle hunter? This is what you got to do. Pay attention because it's getting close, guys. Uh, good luck for everybody out there that's already hunting. Um, those of us, those of you that are waiting like me, I start next Monday. Good luck to you guys. I, I can't wait to hunt this year. It's going to be a great year for us saddle hunters. If you're a new saddle hunter out there, watch videos. Watch videos. Get, get opinions from people. Ask questions. There's a big learning curve on saddle, saddle hunting and, and using a saddle. But the learning curve is a real easy road to travel if you have a little help. So like I said, if you want to be a saddle hunter, this is a good place to start. From me to you, slow-mo to you, have a great day. And don't forget to click on the bottom of the screen if you like the video. Thanks, guys. You have a great day.